Even millennials think millennials are the worst. In a recent poll, and this is a, a poll that from the Pew Research Center, which is like an actual polling institution, they say that only 40% of 18 to 34-year-olds describe themselves as millennials. Another 33% are trying to sneak into Generation X, <laughs> and 8% think that they're baby boomers. Baby boomers being like, when people came back from World War II, in 1946 <laughs> and started having babies, those are baby boomers. So if you're 18 and 34, you're not a baby boomer. That's the 8% that like religiously watch TLC. Yeah. Yes, like, exactly. Like... It, is, uh, it is a late night cable news watching yeah. generation. Or um, Fox News audience. Uh, baby boom, so they say only 30% of millennials say the generational label fits them well. Um, that could be because millennials don't think much of their own generation. Baby boomers and the silent generation, which is people 70 to 87, describe people their own age in positive terms. Um, they describe themselves as responsible and hardworking. Here is the most uh, prevalent way people describe millennials. Self-absorbed, 59%. Wasteful, 49%. Greedy, 43%. Cynical, I, uh, and I, cynical, 31%. The only positive um, adjective at number five is idealistic, 39%. Jeez. And all the nice ones, you know, 40% is environmentally conscious. Conscious, but at a whopping 59% self-absorbed. Uh, what are you guys' thoughts? Five words or less. That's freakishly accurate, <laughs> I guess. We the millennials, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Kanye is not a millennial. Too long, didn't read. <laughs> I'm barely a millennial. I feel like y'all are more in the middle of it. I'm like at the tail end. But uh, what do you think about millennials? You said it's all too accurate. It's kind of an ever-growing thing, unfortunately, you know? I feel like we're, we need to start branching out and doing bigger and better things that would have percentages that were going towards, a, you know, a more positive uh, topic. I totally agree, but I wonder how much of the millennials are, like, how, how heavily influenced we are by what we have access to. Meaning, okay. like, I think we have so much more access to everything that our stupidity as human beings is just easily, more easily displayed. That's yes. absolutely yes. right. Yeah. So, absolutely like, yes. I think if I think if you were if you were a baby boomer or even before then, y'all didn't have internet, y'all didn't have text messaging, y'all didn't have things to make your stupidity be displayed like we do. And I mean, it, selfies are a thing now, and that's adding to the yeah. You know, self-absorbency. Yeah, and the other thing is, you mentioned that the silent generation, which is ironic, but um, the seven-year-olds are like, oh, we're awesome. Like, we were hard workers. You know what I mean? And I think that has more to do with the age bracket that you're in. And overall, I'm kind of generalizing here, but overall, the way you feel about your generation at that age rather than... Um, rather than a whole, a whole generation of people being self-absorbed. I feel like when you're in your early 20s, like in that middle ground, you're more, you're greedier. You're beginning your career. And especially because of the way the economy is right now, the way our lives are structured, that's, that, that's the reason why we see ourselves a particular way, rather than, oh, this entire generation is actually a bunch of self-absorbed mm. freaks. I truly think it's just a product of your environment. I think like the way that we have to make, like the way a lot of people make their money now is through social media and be posting selfies and all those kind of things for likes and for product placement and all those kind of things. And so it's like, because that's the, because that's what's now and what's in your face now and what's the easiest way to get on now and make the money and follow a Disney princess on Instagram or whatever, it's right. like that, right. that, that leads you to look self-absorbed and look selfish and look all about you. And that could be how those people are, but those are also the people who are dominating the industry right now. So what's, what are some positive attributes of the millennials? The same thing. Yeah? I think. Yeah. The freedom of speech that, that's allowed and um, the opportunity like to do shows like this where we can come on and speak our minds and, and we wouldn't have had that back in the day. Like, I don't, I don't think. We're more aware of the things that are happening overall because of the internet. That's one, that's for sure. We're more idealistic, and because of that, I've, I mean, sometimes we're more pessimistic because of that, because of how how aware we are of our environment and how, like, things get passed in government, for example. Like, we just see that it's a long and arduous process, and we become cynical because of it. But we're just more educated overall, 
I might be wrong, but I feel like we are more educated overall, and that's just the, the, the progression of mankind. I am smarter than you. Technology as a whole, I feel like is almost taking over our brain and like mm -hmm. doing all the work for us. Again, that could be used to your advantage sometimes, but I don't think, you know, a lot of, a lot of people just get lazy and they're just like, oh, I'll have technology figure this out for me. So I think everyone needs to just kind of look at it and be a little more optimistic about, about who the generation is. There's a lot more that meets the eye. Um, what a great show we had today. Yeah, great show. And that's it. Uh, you, once again, just tell people where we can find Christina Grimmie. Uh, you can find Christina Grimmie on Twitter, at The Real Grimmie, um, Instagram, at The Real Grimmie, Facebook.com slash Christina Grimmie. And Dexter Darden? Uh, you can find me on Twitter, at Dexter Darden, and on Instagram, at Dexter Darden. As always, thank you for joining us, and we'll see you guys next time on Pop Trigger.